I used to thought we were going to have to scrape you off the road, eh? Come on, Colin, your coffee's getting cold. It's all right, isn't it, starting work your first morning with a tea break? You're a good boss. I am a good boss, yeah. There's a lot of people who like to work for me. That's what I've heard. Oh, what have you heard? A lot of people who like to work for you. Oh. Where'd you hear that, then? You just told me. Oh, yeah, we well, don't want to believe everything you hear, do you? Colin, you've got five minutes. Do you know who you remind me of? No. Tell me, Mark. Princess Anne. Oh, what do you think I look like, huh? Yeah, a bit, but you sound like her. I don't sound like Princess Anne. You do? No, I don't. What do you think I sound posh? Well, you try it like everybody else around here. I don't try to sound posh. I've never tried to change the way I speak. Well, you don't talk like Mavis. No. Oh. It's because I did elocution lessons when I was at college. You never knew that, did you? In them days, people didn't want to employ you unless you spoke nicely. Especially at a bank in the city. Can't pick up the phone to a customer and say, Watch your cop. What can I do for you then, eh? Don't you? No. You used to have to say, Good morning. This is the National Westminster Bank. May I help you, please? What about in the afternoons? Oh, well, you had to use your imagination then, didn't you? Colleen, your coffee's so cold now. I'll get another one before lunch time. Come on. When I come upstairs, I'll show you my new wallpaper, right? And tell me if you like it. Colin? What's the matter? Aren't you speaking to me? What's the matter? Don't you want to help me do my decorating? It's not because Mark's here, is it? I didn't know he was going to be here. I thought you knew. I've got some lovely overalls for you to wear, make you laugh. A pair of your Uncle John's old pyjamas. You look smart then, like me, eh? Come on. What's the matter? You tell me what's wrong. Listen, you're the one I'm employing. Mark's only here on a social visit. Is he? Yes. We'll only be here today. We'll have the rest of the week to ourselves. But you a nice treat for your lunch. I know he's ugly. We don't have to look at him, do we? You're going to wear your DMs with Uncle John's pyjamas, are you? What's DMs? Dr Martin's. What are they, throat lozenges? No, they're boots. Oh. It's what skinheads and hooligans wear, isn't it? Oh, well, it suit you then, eh? I've grown out of mine. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, by the way, Auntie Barbara. Yes, little Mark. Why ain't Uncle John doing the decorating? I thought he was a do-it-yourself expert. He's at work, isn't he? What about after work and the weekends, like he used to? Yeah, well, he's too busy at the moment. What, don't you want to do it, then? No, look, I'm doing it. We're doing it together, aren't we, Colin? He was a lovely boy then, eh? What's the matter? How comes you never had no kids, Auntie Barbara? Come on, I'm going to go upstairs and get started now, all right? I asked you a question. Yeah, I know, I heard you, Mark. I was just a bit frightened they might grow up like you. Thought I'd wait and see what you turned out like before I risked it, eh? And keep your feet off my furniture as well, please. Come on, Colin, we're wasting time. I'm going to go up and get started now, because we've got a lot to do before lunchtime. Now, if you want this job, you can come up and we'll start moving this furniture into the front room. If you don't want it, that's all right. Just come up to me and say, I'm sorry, Auntie Barbara, I've changed my mind. I don't want to do the job now. All right? Uncle John don't know you've asked him to do the decorating, does he? What's that got to do with it? Oh, that's good, isn't it, Kermit? He don't know. Hey, well, he doesn't have to know everything I do. Well, what's going to happen when he comes home from work, then? He won't mind. It's up to me. It's my house. Yeah, but it's his house as well. Come on, Colin, I'm going upstairs now, so you follow, eh? Don't Uncle John love Auntie Barbara no more? I don't think anybody loves Auntie 
You coming? Well. Let's go on. What, you staying here? Fair enough. Well, go on. Up you go. Get your paintbrush and your Milky Way. Go on. What's the matter? Do you want me to come up there with you and help you? It's my job. When you shut up about your job? Like some selfish little kid who won't let his brother play with his ball. I ain't selfish. You are. You're a greedy pig. No, I ain't. You think I've come to nick your job, don't you? Yeah. You're well wrong. Why are you here, then? It's principles. What's that? Things they don't grow on trees, right? It's what Mum and Dad ain't got, right? And this house ain't got. So ain't you a choir. That's why I wouldn't nick your job. Muppet. I ain't a Muppet. Take it you don't want this job then, Colin. Is that right? Oh, you've let me down, really, haven't you? Never mind. I think it might have been nice if you could have come to me in the first place and told me you didn't really want to do it, eh? Still, you didn't, so that's that. You've sort of wasted everyone's time, really, haven't you? Never mind. What are we having for lunch then, Auntie Barbara? We're going to have fish fingers. Didn't think fish had fingers. Oh. oh, well, you know now, eh? Go with him, haven't you? You're his mind, huh? I didn't think you'd let him go anywhere on his own. Hey. Do you think he'll be all right? What do you think? Right, this room anyway. Just as well, isn't it? Better than our room at home. Oh well. Perhaps I better come and decorate for you next time, eh? 